we've seen in previous videos that it is possible to create custom calculations in a Fluence Excel grid, making the most of Excel's flexibility. These calculations are then dynamic within the grids in terms of drilling, dragging and dropping. To reuse that calculation in a different grid, it would have to be recreated. To create calculations that are shared throughout the workbook and can be used in multiple Fluence Excel grids, as well as formula reports, we can use workbook calculations. The first type of workbook calculation we'll look at is grouping. Let's bring up the member selector for product. As the controller in charge of accessories and bike sales, I am often looking at the total of those two categories for which there is no calculation in the cube. I want to group these categories together to see the total easily. I can do this by right clicking on those categories and selecting the group members option. From here, I can give the group a name and a position within the hierarchy, in this case, directly under all products. When I click OK, we get an additional member called BNA, which is available for me to select. The numbers returned are the sum of the bike and accessory sales. If I create a new report in this workbook on a new worksheet, BNA is still available to select from the product hierarchy. This will also be true for formula reports. Created groups and name sets are stored centrally in the Customs Calculation ribbon option. Here we can see our BNA group. The right hand side of the menu shows the MDX for this group. This dialog can also be used to create new calculated members, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll click on Insert New Calculated Member and give it a name. In this case, I'm interested in the average sales amount. We'll put it under Measures, and then this will be the sales amount divided by the order quantity. So we can literally click and drag from the tree on the left into the MDX box, remembering to add in our operators. If we double click on our measures, you'll see we now have a new member called Average Sales Amount, which we can add to our grid. The grid now shows the sales amount divided by the order quantity. The calculated member can be formatted like any other member with Fluence Excel controls. Here we will add a currency formatting. This new measure is dynamic and can be displayed without needing the sales amount or the order quantity to be displayed in our worksheet. This allows us to create calculations without needing large grids returning all the data that will influence our calculation. As this was set up at workbook level, this is available to all new or even existing grids, as you can see here. Workbook calculations are very useful as they allow calculations that are not in the data to be created once and used many times throughout the workbook. This can be taken a step further using the import export function. One person of the team can create the calculation and export them to a shared drive. Other members of the team can then import these calculations into their own workbooks and have them ready to use. Custom calculations thus enable more flexible reporting for everyone without requiring the data structure to be changed.